Welcome everyone, here is how you use Widgetsmith on iOS 16. So opening up the Widgetsmith app, you're going to see some done how to stuff, but you're watching this video. What's important is we have the home screen and lock screen, okay? So I'm gonna start off with the home screen. You're gonna see small widgets, medium widgets, and large widgets. So we can either edit the default widget here, or we can tap on add small widget, which I'm gonna do. You're then going to see all these options here. So if you scroll all the way down, you can select the type of widget you would like. So I'm going to use astronomy. Once you've selected the widget you'd like, tap on theme and you can change the theme here. So I'm going to use the powder one. You can then change the location. Now, depending on the widget, you may not have the location option or you may have a slight variation. And then you have the time format. So all these other options here, location and time format, they are theme dependent. So if I go to widget and I select photo, you can see the options have changed. So the theme is the same, right? But we now have to select the photo, right? So let's just choose blah, blah, this one. You can move it around, pinch, etc. And then we have the photo filter as well. So once everything looks good, let's tap on save. And now the widget has been saved. So to add it on the home screen, long press on the empty space, tap on the plus, search up for widget smith, tap on it, select the size of widget you created, and then tap on add. So by default, everything has just worked for me, but for you, you may see some black widget here. What's going on? Well, if we go back to the widget smith app, you can see I created two small widgets, okay? you can create as many as you'd like. In order to switch between the widget, which shows up on the home screen, long press, edit widget, and then when it loads, you can change the widget you have right here. What this means is you can add as many widgets as you'd like on the home screen and edit them to your heart's content. Now, going back to the Widgetsmith app, we have the lock screen. So you can have text widgets or circular widget or rectangular widget, okay? So text widget is for the very top of the iPhone, this part here, and then these other widgets are circular and rectangular. Those are for here, okay? So let's just tap on circular number one. Uh, let's choose a clock. And of course you have the same options, theme, and obviously all these styles here, which you can play around with, and you can see the preview at the top as well. Let's just tap on save. So we slide down, we don't need to physically lock the device, just slide down. We're then gonna long press on the empty space. We'll tap on customize. We'll tap on the widgets area and I'll just remove these ones like so. So I wanna use widget smith. So we'll just tap on widget smith here and you can see all the sizes. So you can either tap to add the widget or drag and drop, which doesn't seem to be working. So we'll just do the tap for now. And you can see the widget shows up right here, okay? Now, if you created multiple the circular widgets, go back to this view, okay? So just tap on the widgets area, tap on the widget, and then you can change between all of the widgets you have created. So with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.